These pupils may be miles away from New Will Green High School, but by accessing an exact replica of their classroom in the online world Second Life, they can use avatars or virtual representations of themselves to communicate in real time with teachers and students back at the real school. By using Second Life, pupils can participate in classes wherever they are or wherever they want to be. I think it's particularly useful to get students to explore environments that you know, we can't normally show them. Um, I mean, for instance, in a, in a science lesson, you could take them on a tour around you know, the bits and pieces of a nuclear power station, you know, somewhere which obviously you couldn't uh, go with normally. The school's hoping that by using Second Light, they can make remote learning easier, meaning that kids who can't be in school for one reason or the other, say they've been in hospital, they've been excluded or gone travelling because of family reasons, can still take part in the same lessons as their peers. Because you can communicate from outside the classroom and share ideas. It is quite impressive, actually. Technology has come a long way. Well, what's important for us is that they're able to experience the real-world environment at the same time as being connected to the experiences of their colleagues who are at the moment are back at school but could be in many places across the city at a given time. Today, these students have come to an exhibition to choose furniture for their classroom back at the real school. Because they can keep in touch from afar, it means everyone's still participating in the decisions. But whether it's in real life or second life, school rules still apply. If they behave badly in, in cyberspace or the virtual world, they'll, they'll receive the same sort of discipline. The virtual classrooms are located on a virtual island that represents Manchester Online. The City Council is investing in the Second Life scheme, hoping that schools across the city will sign up to a system that could change students' experience of distance learning forever. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel M News.